Hello, Sporklers. You may have noticed a new feature available to clickable quizzes that allows you to add images to both questions and answers. You may want to make quizzes in this style yourself, and today I'm going to show you how. The first thing you're going to need to do is to actually create the Sporkle quiz. Click the button to create a Sporkle quiz from your dashboard and enter a quiz name. For this quiz, we're going to enter the name Click the Sporkle Globes. And of course, we're going to set the quiz the type to clickable. Click Create Quiz, and it will take you to the new quiz progress screen. So our title here is going to be Click the Sporkle Globes, and we have a description, Can you pick the Sporkle Globes while avoiding the decoys? Because this is such a simple quiz, we're going to set the timer to just one minute, and we're going to set our category to just for fun. Before we start entering data, the most important thing we're going to need to do in order to use this new feature is to go to the Options tab. You'll notice that there are many boxes for you to click. For this quiz, we only need to worry about Allow Images and Questions and Answers under the Options header. We need to check the box. And for this particular quiz, we're going to hide the answer text on the quiz page. Before we move off of this screen, we should keep in mind that we do not need hints for this particular quiz. It's very important that we randomize the order of the answers, however. Click Save Changes, and then we'll go to the Data tab. For this quiz, we're going to need 20 images, so we're going to have 20 rows of data. Click Add. If you've made a clickable quiz before, you'll notice that there are two new boxes underneath the traditional boxes where hints and answers go, both of which say URL. This is where we're going to enter our images. The first thing we're going to do is right-click the Sporkle Globes into the hint box. We're going to copy that and paste it very quickly. You'll notice that the URL bar is skipped between each item. Once we've completed that, we don't need to worry about the URL for the question area. We only need to worry about it for the answers. Before we put in the URL for the answers, we're going to need to describe what each image is. That just makes it easier to keep track of things. So for this image, we're going to have a Sporkle globe. In fact, we're going to use the same image 10 times. It's important that we use an image that is small and can fit easily into the quiz screen. For this particular quiz, we're using the same globe image 10 times. Each time the image is only 100 pixels by 100 pixels. Before we go any further, I'm just going to show you what this looks like by testing the quiz. As you can see, we have 10 sporkle globes to click on. We also have 10 blank images to work with as well. For the remaining 10 images, these will all be decoys. So in the extra info column, we're going to put EE or Easter egg. That makes these wrong answers. We'll describe each of them and so on. Now that we've placed our 10 decoys, we're going to put in the URLs for the images for those as well. Now we have 10 decoy images, each one is different, and we're going to need to make sure that it still works. So again, we're going to click the Test Quiz button. As you can see, clicking on the Sporkle Globes yields correct answers, while clicking on the other globes will yield incorrect answers. So everything is working just fine. All we have to do is select Launch Quiz to Public, and we have our first clickable quiz. Hopefully you found this tutorial helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more trivia. Happy sporkling!